first mod of uh, this VW mod. We're going to be installing this damp valve. So other people call it bluff valve. I don't know if there's any other name. I prefer calling it damp valve. So what does a damp valve do? A damp valve is uh, it's, it's, it's a valve that uh, so there are two sections in a turbo charger. There's the high pressure section and the low pressure section. So the damp valve diverts air from the high pressure section to the atmosphere. Basically it relieves off pressure from the turbo charger. I don't know why manufacturers don't uh, pre-install them but I would highly recommend them for a turbo charged engine. So where does it, uh, where is it placed? So this is the recirculation valve that uh, whenever you release the accelerator, it stops air from going to the engine. If you don't have a damp valve, the high pressure will continue recirculating in the turbocharger. But if you have a damp valve, this opens up it opens up and releases air that passes through here into the atmosphere. So it's simple. It goes over the, uh, the recirculation valve. So one thing that I notice with these uh, dump valves that I buy from AliExpress is that this hole is flashing with the recirculation valve. However, on this other hole, I don't know if you guys can see it, this hole, it does not flash. It does not, yep. There is a bit of, it's skewed. So, I bought a file to exactly correct that mistake. So, we are going to be filing off some bit here so that uh, the holes align. So, that's the first thing that we're going to do. Here is my round file and we notice that it's this inner side that has an issue. So we are going to be filing towards the, the, the valve, this portion of the valve. Yeah. So this is going to be a tedious job. Finally, we've managed to bolt in the lower bolts. So it's a... Uh, has, can be bolted with an allen key and uh, it's a tedious job fiddly job so the bolt is way down there and uh, we are we are done uh, tightening that bolt so the next would be these bolts on top over here which is quite simple to bolt it And did these two balls over here with T30 and two out bracket over here. And then using the same same T30, we undid this bolt over here and pulled it from the tab. The tab is right over here. If you can see the propeller for the tab is right down there. I hope you can see it. Yeah, yeah. there it is. Yeah. So this direct air from the air box all the way to the supercharger and also to the turbo charge. So what now that we have done the dump valve and also the recirculation valve, I think what's left is putting everything back together the same way we took it off. So first we're going to return these feed pipes. Yeah this was so one of them goes down here other one goes here. Both hoses are in the vacuum hoses. So I'm just going to return their clips to where they're supposed to be. That clip over there and then there's this other clip here. And it's secure. So next step, we're going to return the wiring harness circulation valve and here it is and it's back in after that 
we should uh, put back this this is an oil feed pipe and that's back in and this ball very tight Back this so in over there and put it in some space. Yeah. So finalizing all, closing everything. Okay. Yeah. And here is the dump dump valve. valve. Yep. So then take this back to its original place. Turn the engine cover.